everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I was tagged by a lovely lady named Norma to do the get to know me tag. Her channel is called Love and Fuzzy Dusters and she is just the sweetest lady and her voice is just so calming. So in her video she made banana pudding while she was answering all of these questions and I figured that I would do something as well instead of just sitting down and answering the questions and y'all just looking at me sitting here. So I'm going to do a little bit of cleaning around my house. There's a few things that I need to get done today. So hopefully y'all enjoy that better than just staring at my face while I answer questions. So I'm going to get to cleaning and we're going to get through all of those questions as well. And if y'all would, please head over to Norma's channel after y'all watch this video and give her some support. She is such a lovely person and I just love her channel so much. And I will have everything of hers linked in the description down below. The so question number one is, do you like blue cheese? And yes, I do. I love all the kinds of cheeses that I've ever tried, except for goat cheese. It tastes like a sweaty goat. So yes, I do like blue cheese. Question number two is, what is your favorite color? My favorite color used to be green, but it has changed to teal and purple as I've gotten older. Number three is, are you in a relationship? And yes, I am. I have been married to the same man for the past five years. And how old are you? I just turned 31 just a few days ago. Number five is, are you a good friend? And I would have to say that I'm a pretty good friend once you get like in that good solid group and like my bestest friend in the whole world like I would do absolutely anything for her so I would hope she would consider me a good friend. Number six is do you have any tattoos and yes I have several I think I have seven tattoos now. Um, number seven is do you have any piercings and I used to have my belly button pierced but I took that out once I got pregnant for the first time. Both my ears were pierced at one point and so was the cartilage on one ear. I do not wear any of those earrings anymore so I think every bit of my holes have closed up. Number eight is do you have any nicknames and candy is my nickname and that is what most of my friends and family call me. The only other one is candy cane, pretty much the same thing. Number nine is can you do a hundred push-ups? Uh, last I tried, no I cannot. What is your favorite hobby? Let's say I have a couple of hobbies, but I don't know which one's my favorite one. Of course, YouTube is one of my hobbies. I also really like to garden, and as you'll see a little bit further on in this video, I love, <clears throat> sorry. I love keeping my fish. I have five fish tanks in my house. Four of them are my fish tanks. So I would say that's definitely a hobby that I have taken and run with. I love my fishies. And the 11th one is, do you believe in ghosts? And yes, I do. I have seen way too many demons and spirits in my own lifetime to not believe in them. So yes, I do. Number 12 is do you wear glasses? I am supposed to wear glasses, but I hardly ever do. I do it when I start getting headaches really bad or I've been working on the computer a lot. So yeah, I'm supposed to. Number 13 is do you have any phobias? And I actually have a lot of anxiety issues. Uh, one of the biggest ones I guess would be leaving my children too early and not being here for them and also I have a fear of falling backwards. Number 14 is what is your biggest downfall and I would say I'm definitely a procrastinator. I put things off till the last minute and that doesn't benefit anyone in my life. Number 15 is what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy bar candy is Reese Cups, the mini Reese Cups. Mm, put them in the freezer and they're just so yummy and delicious. But my favorite like sour type candy would definitely be the Watermelon Sour Patch Kids candy. They are so good. I could eat a whole bag of those. And then what is my favorite food? I don't know that I have a favorite food. 
but if I had to choose like a certain kind of food to eat every single day, it would either be something uh, seafood or something Asian Chinese type flavors. Number 17 is Coke or Pepsi. I would say neither. I think both are gross, but I do like Dr. Pepper every once in a while, and if I could choose, I would go for sweet tea. Number 18 is rain or snow. I would say since I live in Texas, I have seen what the power of rain can do. So uh, I like hearing rainstorms and stuff like that. Like they're kind of relaxing unless it's a hurricane out there trying to destroy our town. But snow is just so calming and beautiful. So I'm gonna say snow, which we never get here in Texas. Number 19 is hot dogs or cheeseburgers. It is definitely cheeseburgers. I do not like hot dogs unless it is the, uh, oh gosh, what's it called? California dog, I think it is, that has like the peppers and stuff on it. I don't know which one that one is, but every once in a while I can have one of those, but it's gotta have all the right fixings. Number 20 is what do you drink in the morning? And um, I'm not really a coffee drinker. If I'm not drinking water, then I every once in a while have a flavored cappuccino, either hazelnut or caramel. Number 21 is french fries or onion rings. And I would say french fries probably because I have to be in the mood for onion rings and french fries are good every single day. 22 is do you have any kids and yes I do I have a son that is five or almost five and his name is Harrison and then I also have a little boy that is two his name is Wyatt and I am currently pregnant with my third kid and we don't know what this one is yet but we will be finding out very shortly and I'm so excited to know what it is number 23 is what is your favorite season and my favorite season would have to be spring because everything is getting its fresh new start and all the flowers start to come out and it's not so hot here that you can't enjoy yourself but you can still get out and have some fun. I just love springtime, it's so pretty. Number 24 is, can you sing? And uh, everyone can sing, but can I sing well? No, I don't think I can sing very good. But I still do, and my kids have told me to hush a couple of times, so I don't know. Maybe they are the judges of it, so I'm going to say no. Can you whistle? Yes, I can. I can whistle blowing out and sucking in, and not a lot of people can do that. So, yeah, I can whistle. My husband, funny fact, is he was not able to snap when we first got together. No one ever taught the poor boy how to snap his fingers. And I taught him how to snap. Where were you born? I was born in a little bitty town in Alabama. I have lived in Texas for the past several years and I consider this my home now, but I was a Dixie girl to begin with. And do you have any siblings? Yes, I do. I have three sisters, one of which was a stillborn and I never got to meet her, of course. I had another sister that passed away when I was 12 due to a fatal car accident. And I have one living sister that is a year and a half older than me. Number 28, can you cook? Yes, I can. I love cooking. I have several cooking videos on my channel of me showing you easy, quick, healthy-ish versions of cooking so if you're interested in any of those then yeah check those out um i come from a southern family so i better know how to cook some good food number 29 is can you swim yes i know how to swim but i'm not like a fantastic swimmer like when i try to swim laps i look like um i should be rescued <laughs> but I get across the pool eventually. Number 30 is, are you religious? And 
I would say yes, like I believe in God, but I do not go to church because I I was brought up Pentecostal and um, I just don't have those same views now that I am an adult and I have not really found an a dominate not a domination a denomination that really fits my beliefs so yes I believe in God um, but I don't go to church I do my own church at home and listen to my aunt sherry's little videos and stuff that she has on her channel i'll have her linked down below as well if you ever want to check out religious stuff like that she has some really really good content on her channel as well number 31 is shower or bath i definitely like showers way better i have tried so many times to do the whole bath bomb thing and I just don't like it. I don't. Like I'm I get in there and I'm like, okay, I'm hot, I'm bored, and I only make it a couple of minutes and then I gotta get out of that thing because I got stuff to do. So definitely shower, jump in, get hosed off, jump out. And number 32 is do you like big cities or nature? Even though I live on the outskirts of Houston, which is a humongous city, I much prefer nature. When I go back home to Alabama, I just soak in all the hills and all the wide open spaces as much as I can. And there's a little bit here in Texas, but you gotta drive far to see it. So yes, every time I can get a chance to get into nature, I do, but I don't like bugs. So yeah, as long as my nature doesn't have bugs. Number 33 is whiskey, tequila, or vodka. Um, I definitely do not like whiskey. Tequila, I think, is gross. I do not like margaritas. There's a few vodkas, like flavored vodkas, that I have liked in the past. Uh, I don't really drink, though. I'm not really big on alcohol, so I would say if I had to choose one of those, it would be vodka. Number 34 is, have you ever had any broken bones? And not any confirmed broken bones, but I'm pretty sure I broke my tailbone when I was younger because it sure did hurt for a long, long time after I injured it. So maybe, I don't know. 35 is, how many TVs do you own? And we have three in our house and then one in our travel camper, so four. Number 36 is worst pain ever. That would have to be childbirth. With my first son, I was dilated all the way to a 10 before they finally gave me my epidural because I was trying to be strong and stick it out for as long as possible and I almost went too long. So I only had the epidural for about 20 minutes of that entire birth and that was excruciating pain, but so worth it to get my little guy here. Number 37, do you like to dance? And yes, I do, I love to dance. I think that is one of the best ways to get your body moving and get some exercise is by doing crazy happy dance in your house. And I also like to go out to the dance halls here in Texas. We have country dance halls and me and my husband love to go out and uh, go dancing there and do all the little country dances and all the line dances and stuff like that. So yes, I do like to dance. And then the final question is, do you like camping? And we have a travel camper. So our camping is not camping, it's glamping for sure. But I have gone camping plenty in my life. We actually had our tent almost float away one time when we were younger. And that was because uh, we were really close to the water and there was a bad storm that night and the river like came up while we were sleeping. But yeah, that was not so fun. But yeah, I would say I do like camping. I hope that y'all enjoyed getting to know me a little bit and me answering those questions. I tried to do it as quickly as I could. Didn't get through a whole lot of cleaning today, but I'm not supposed to be doing a lot of cleaning because I'm technically on bed rest. So I hope that you enjoyed the little bit that you did see. And also, 
hearing all these questions. So the two people that I want to tag because I want to get to know them a little bit better, it's Lydia from The Budget Lady. She is just so supportive and just so encouraging and I love all her thrift store finds. Like, it's like she's me and I get made fun of for thrift shopping and doing all the budget stuff by some of the people in my family because they're like, you could just have it brand new name brand. Why don't you do it that way? No, save some money, get some tips from the budget lady. She'll help you save some money. The second person I would like to tag is Julianne from XOXO Julianne. She is also a really supportive person over here in YouTube land. And she also has a lot of cleaning motivation when I just can't get going myself. I go and watch some of her videos to get me motivated. And she also has a really good way of showing real mom life and that it's not pretty all the time. Thanks to go according to plan so I just love how real she is I will have both of those ladies tagged down below so definitely go check out their channels and give them some support and I will see you on the next video guys bye